Hello, this short video will explain a little bit better about the drop down menus in the personal finance manager template that you can download from inzara.blogspot.com. This is how the template looks when you download and open it. And there's no information in there yet, nothing in the settings worksheet. And if you go to the transactions worksheet again, you won't find anything here. Uh, this, these colored cells here together make up what is called an Excel table. And as you can see here, there's nothing here in the first row, which means that the table is empty. So when you go and, for example, to the type column, you actually will be able to choose, let me zoom in a little bit, you will be able to choose one of the three types of transaction type, I mean, transactions. So if I choose expense, this record is an expense transaction now, and I can enter the other parts of information here. When I go to category, there's nothing there because we haven't defined the category values yet. We haven't defined the subcategories yet. We haven't defined the accounts yet. So there's nothing in there. But keep in mind that how would you know what the dropdown values are? If you click here in the cell, this drop down button shows up and then you will be able to choose. If you click anywhere else outside this table, it doesn't have any data validation, so there won't be any drop down menu. So you have to click inside this table, which is shown by the colored cells, and the drop down menus will only appear for some of the columns. So, for example, type, category, subcategory and account. So these four columns will have drop down menus. The amount doesn't have a drop down and the description doesn't have a drop down, for example. So let's go back and start from scratch and we'll go back to the settings worksheet and we will create a new category called car. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to use car and I'm going to now go to the transaction sheet. And now when I go to category, I still don't see anything. And that's because I have to first choose what type of transaction it is. So expense transaction. Now, again, scroll up, there you see car. So now this category shows up. And then if you go to subcategory, it still doesn't have anything because we have not defined any subcategories yet. So let's go back to the settings. And now in the subcategory, you can write insurance, maintenance, and now go back to the transactions and subcategory, you'll see insurance. So this is how the drop down menus work. You have to choose a specific expense type or transaction type for the category drop down menu to work and you have to define the values for the category in the settings worksheet. For the subcategory, it does not depend on what type of transaction it is, but it still depends on you defining the subcategory values back in the settings worksheet. And let's say you have entered the information for the first transaction here um, again, just for this illustration, I'm not entering all the information, but once you believe that you've done it, you should be able to go, for example, now I'm going to the comments field and then I'm here and then I'm going to hit tab and that automatically extends my table and inserts a new record. You can see that by the border here for the table, the bold border that tells me that the now, now the table has expanded to the second row. And now when I go and click in any um, of the cells here in the second row, if there are drop down menu options, then that will show up. For example, this is how I can use it. And then even now, when I click anywhere below this border, I will not be able to getting any drop. I will not see any drop down menus at all but only within this table, the drop down menus work. And again, here's this, another button which looks similar to this button, but that has a different purpose. That is to manipulate basically this table, whether you want to sort the entire table 
by from you know a to z based on the category values or you can sort by color and other stuff so uh that is that has a complete and also you can filter basically if i only want to see car related transactions in this table i can just choose car and i uh, that will help me to filter to the records that i'm really interested in easily again that is a different purpose so all the row all the buttons you see at the top uh, they have a different purpose that's to manipulate the table that is to um, sort or filter the information that you have in this table whereas this button we are talking about is the real drop down menu button uh, this is what you would use to pick a value in these val in these um, fields i'm sure there are many ways to do a single thing in excel so just like you can hit the tab uh, from the end of this row to extend the table you can also do for example come down here and then you enter any information and after you uh, type in your information hit enter that also will extend your table now the table has two rows and now when you go to any of these um, fields you will see that there is the drop down menu so again what we have learned here is that the drop down menu options will only show up within this excel table and to begin with, the Excel table will only have one empty row, but after you finish entering your information in the first row, you can easily extend it to the second row by either typing information and hitting enter, or when you go to the end of the first row and hit tab, either way, you can create a new row if you're at the end of the table. So I hope, I hope this uh, short video explained how the drop down menus work in this template. Again, if you have any other questions, please reach out to me at nzara.blogspot.com. Thank you.